Do you believe that man could build an ark? A structure that measures about 510 feet long and 51 feet high? It is estimated that it took Noah about 75 years to build the ark. This is a replica of Noah's ark built according to biblical dimensions. It is in Kentucky and cost $100 million and about two years to build. God specifically instructed Noah to build a door in the side of the ark. Through this door entered pairs of clean and unclean animals, of birds and all creatures that crawled, and Noah and his family. God also instructed Noah to take food and store it for his family and the animals. So why did Moses build the ark? God was angry with man's sins and wanted to start by cleansing the earth with a flood. Noah had found favor with God, honoring him in all that he did. So Noah was commissioned by God to build the ark for his family and two of every sort, male and female. Moses documents this history in Genesis 6, the increased corruption on the earth. Well, good morning, everyone. I hope everything's going well with you. Uh, stay tuned, by the way, for uh, services to be inside our church building. So today we're going to read about uh, Genesis uh, chapter 6, verse 5 through 8. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on the earth had become, and that everything, every inclination of thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth, men and animals and creatures that move along the ground, and birds of the air, for I am grieved that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And here's Noah's prayer. God of heaven, we ask for your mercy through this terrible storm. You called me to build a ship to preserve my family and the animals that you brought to me. And I have sought to be faithful to honor you in all that I have done. Preserve us now through your judgment on this world as you have promised, and we will be faithful to serve you all our days. Very faithful man he was. So let us pray. Almighty, eternal God, we thank you that you have promised to never again destroy all life by a flood. Grant us faith, love, and peace to believe your promises, that we may receive eternal salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Have a great day. Hopefully we'll see you in church soon.